your way of playing the drums uh, draws a lot of attention with a lot of energy. Do you have uh, any care with the physical parts to get better uh, performance on stage? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Good question, man. Um, so that's something I didn't really know about at first. When I first started playing the drums, I don't think I realized like what it takes to play, you know, an hour and 15 minutes uh, straight, you know, with not not too much breaks or anything. So and especially like to do it one night is one thing, but to do it for a whole tour, that's a that's a different story, too. You know, you wake up the next day and and you gave it everything you had last night, but then you got to do it again tonight. So it's like I definitely needed to learn a lot about uh, the physical side of playing drums, you know, staying really hydrated. I have to drink like tons of water to make sure that I'm, uh, you know, real hydrated for the shows. If not, you're just going to gas out. And, uh, you know, sometimes I do like some sports back home, like play some basketball or uh, I'll go uh, over to to my my dad's house and we'll play like a little football in the backyard and uh, do like he has like a nice pool. So, you know, I like to stay active. Uh, there's a lot of really cool mountains in Arizona. So you could go on like a really big hike and, uh, You know, it's like a nice, like, physical workout. Uh, so, uh, you know, I do a lot, definitely, like, to, to stay in shape for drums. And even a couple tours, I would play with Lodi Kong and with Soulfly. So, like, uh, you know, you're doing two sets a night. Like, that'll that'll kick your ass really quick if you're not, like, staying in shape. And, you know, I got to kick the junk food for the most part, try and, try and eat clean and healthy. And So, yeah, man, it's, it's been cool. I, I actually learned a lot about the physical side of things ever since I started drumming, for sure.